Hello, this is Tony Henderson Mayers and welcome to my channel. Uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and ring that bell so you will know every time I upload a new video. So every um, Sunday is my faith videos. Wednesday, kind of romance and um, some acting maybe. Um, Friday is usually business or acting or creative streams of income, different things like that. Um, and maybe I'm interviewing someone. But on Monday, that's when I upload uh, new content, um, especially in the area of romance. So this video that you're about to see is a wise courtship joint. Check it. I, I, let me just first say, and this is not because it was something perfect, because nobody is perfect, and we all make mistakes, um, but I will say, see, you ladies, I've seen you ladies, you ladies are so beautiful, and when I grew up, um, I was bullied a lot because of my looks. I had extremely buck teeth. I mean, I was just like, you know, geeky, and I'm still a geek at heart, too. <laughs> I was just kind of geeky and whatnot. And so um, I got ragged so much about my looks and even had uh, ridiculous expressions from teachers too about my looks, you know, um, that my looks and all of that stuff was, uh, it was irrelevant to me, you know? Um, and so if someone was to go on and on about my looks, you know, I took that with a grain of salt because I, I learned so many lessons on how people will treat you when they believe you're ugly, okay? And how they treat you once you your looks begin to change and become pleasing to you. So I never put much weight and stock in that. And also I learned how to really get to know people from their heart. And that was just God shaping me for what I would be do, doing later. And so um, the wise courtship philosophy or way of going about things started really early for me because I was more concerned about what people were on the inside. And I've also been really trained to know that people will show you one thing and do another. And that, all that came from that early experience. So with that being said, I, I would say that um, I was blessed to pick well. However, when I was, um, you know, out dating, I did, um, you know, have a couple of bad experiences. But one of them I, I think that we should learn about is um, one of them when I became about 25, which was about two years before I, I would actually meet my husband. You know, I would, you know, I realized at one point I was not going to marry any of the guys I grew up with. One, I probably would have, but he was, you know, he had moved and I didn't know where he was. You know, I had idea where he was, but then at that point he had shifted and I didn't know where he moved, where he moved or whatever. And um, and the other guys became my brothers because I was, you know, I was a tomboy. So they were more like my brothers. And so I knew I had to start dating, you know, brand new people that I've never met before. And so that became very difficult because now you're starting off with somebody you don't know anything about their character at all, okay? So the things that I did do right was that when I met this guy, he was a, like a subway driver and he wanted to talk to me on the phone and you know, I, I didn't give him the number for a long time. So finally, after having conversations with him on the subway, I felt comfortable enough after, I mean, tell my several conversations. I mean, it must have been about 20 different conversations before I felt comfortable to give my telephone number. So after that, we talked on the phone for a long time, months and months. I mean, probably close to a year. And so finally, I did accept a date, you know. But then when we went on a date, I said something generic like, oh, it's beautiful weather. You know, it's, you know how you had those little chit chats, you know, or it was something really generic, guys. And then he flew off into this rage. I don't even remember what I said, but I remember it was generic. And I remember he just got like this big temper and he went on and on. And I was like, stop the car, let me out, you know? And so um, I learned from that 
that sometimes even when you are careful, there's still much more you still could do. And that's why when I wrote the book, there's this, I take you through even more steps further than long conversations um, on the phone and long conversations, you know, uh, in small snapshot places, you know, like a subway, like your job, uh, like you got to have more, you have to expose them to a myriad of places to get an idea how a person is. Um, and so that's something that I believe I learned um, from being single. Another thing I've learned is now that I'm married, and I think toward the end of my singleship too, is enjoy it. Enjoy being single. There's so many things you can do, you know, when you're not married and you don't have children. It's so many. Or if you were married and now you find yourself, you know, single again, you know, maybe because that Judy's a widow, um, you know, and you, you're you in that place, then enjoy that level uh, of life that God has given you at this moment. So I've learned that because uh, once, especially those who've never been married, once the husband comes and the children come or the wife comes and the children come, you got all these responsibilities and sometimes it can get really tough. And the only, you know, what gets you through other than prayer and loving God, he supplies you with some beautiful memories. <laughs> Like you may not be able to travel because your money is tight or whatever, but then you'll have beautiful memories of the times that you traveled, whether you traveled alone or with your girlfriends or, you know, some silly things that you've done and, you know, silly fun things, you know what I mean? Uh, so I, that's what I would say. I think that's an excellent question because, I mean, I could go in so many directions with this, um, but I think those are like the two biggest things I probably learned. Um, and I, I guess if I said, what I wish I knew, if, if I knew those experiences would come back to comfort me, I probably would have did even more. And I did a lot. I traveled a lot. I traveled to every state in the United States, but two by the time I married my husband. Now it's only one more that I need to go to. And I've been waiting for him, but I'm about to do it by myself. After this pandemic, whether he come or go, it's Hawaii. I mean, so you know you want to go to Hawaii, but you know, when my husband's like, I don't think I'm going to be traveling because <laughs> of the pandemic. Thanks a lot for watching my video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm going to try to upload videos as much as possible. So make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. Take care. Are you subscribed to the Wise Courtship Philosophy? then you need to get your Wise Courtship gear at the Wise Courtship store. Go to bit.ly forward slash Wise Courtship store. All the letters are lowercase. They make amazing gifts from children, adults, men and women, jewelry, hats, cell phone cases, t-shirts, and more. Represent Wise Courtship by going to bit.ly forward slash wise courtship store.